Okay, you see this store right here? Joanne Fabrics, Fort Walton Beach, Florida. This store uh, says that they are not doing the program for the surgical mask, and I'm gonna do some other vlogs about that later. The manager, the last time we were in there, the manager said they were not doing the program. So it's a big farce when the owner, this multi-million dollar owner of Joanne Fabrics is fighting to keep these stores open during coronavirus when other businesses were forced to close um, because he claims that they're helping make surgical masks. One, the manager at the store says the video from Joanne Fabrics to make the surgical masks is wrong because they've had a doctor and a nurse come in and say those are no good and that there has to be several layers of fabric, some interfacing, some other stuff, and then it has to have a slot to put a filter in and um, uh, I called Pensacola Hospital and asked them if they were accepting donations of, of surgical masks and stuff handmade. And they said, well, no, we're looking for the N95, but we could use those. And that's a mask that is purchased and has filters built into it. It's a special type of mask. And they're very, very expensive. And um, I can't do that right now. You know, everybody's got to hold on to their money for this coronavirus because we don't know how long we're going without work. But anyway, um, uh, the first time I went in, they offered the fabric, but wouldn't pay for thread or anything else. And then um, uh, I had to buy, one girl said you had to get muslin. I got that. And that was another $10. And um, so it's not free. They don't pay for anything, the thread, nothing. The second time we went in, they gave us a little sample thing that makes about two masks with a, a roll of thread. And they didn't offer to pay for the thread last time. Um, and they, uh, the next time we went in, they said they weren't doing it at all. That this store in Fort Walton Beach, Florida was not doing this program. But on their website, it says all their stores are doing it. And that they supply all this different stuff. And that's not true. That's just some scam for this multi-million dollar owner to keep his stores open during coronavirus when other businesses were forced to shut down for coronavirus. And this store is not keeping a six-foot rule, any of that kind of stuff. Um, so don't fall for that scam. There's a lot of things about making those masks. And I'll do some vlogs about it later to let you know. But it's bogus, I'm telling you. Um, and a lot of stores are not participating in it. Um, of the joint fabric stores so um, I don't think it's fair that other businesses are not allowed to be open um, you know this is just a big fake deal so talk to you later I hope you have a great one